Hi my lovely Frosty fam, it's me Karen Frost here at Now Decadence and I've got a mini haul type of video for you. Uh, the wonderful people at Madam Glam sent me a PR package, thank you ever so much Madam Glam, I appreciate you working with me again, it's very kind of you, thank you very, very much. So I got sent some gel polishes and also this, this is a builder in a bottle this pink one, so I thought I'd show you what it looks like, it's nice and thick, so yeah builder in a bottle that one whereas the other ones are just straight up gel polishes that's the uh, top coat here's another one of the gel polishes I love this plum color it's very nice um, I am going to swatch these but I'm not going to make you watch me swatch them <laughs> I will spare you that um, I put two layers on the swatch sticks and I'll show you the swatch sticks after I've shown you what's in the box when we get to that point I like this green too you're a joke actually I like all of the colors that I've got I did actually get a choice of colours, so yeah, I like all the colours because I chose them. <laughs> so this Elixir, this is their cuticle oil, it's actually really nice, it's unscented, so yeah, suitable for anyone. And they sent me a lamp, which is very generous, an LED sun UV type of lamp, it's got the detachable base with the magnetic bits, there's all the lights that show you uh just to show you the underneath what all the lights look like there we go it's it's branded madam glam new york so obviously it's going to cure madam glam polishes very well and yes i'm wearing a onesie excuse my onesie it was the morning and i was excited and i wanted to open it so yes i'm in a onesie <laughs> I green mint green leopard print onesie yeah whatever i don't care i wanted to open the package <laughs> anywho now this lamp works really nicely. I was really happy with it. My only issue is that the lead is actually really short. So I wasn't able to put the lamp any further on my table than where it is right there. Um, but if you look at the power source for it, the lead that is, you, you can buy those leads uh, as long as you get the right uh, wattage and amps on it you can just use another lead so it's not the end of the world so i'll just put use another lead with it later on when i find one that's the right wattage and amp anywho so let's get on with the design so what i have done is i've prepped my nails i have actually applied full cover tips on just for the sake of quickness um i didn't show you it me applying those because I think everyone knows how to apply full cover tips I well I shouldn't really assume that should I it's a nail channel hmm maybe I should have shown you oh well if I do that again full cover tips I will film it next time but I wasn't thinking about that I was just thinking get some nails on quick so that I can um, do a design with these new gel polishes that's all I was thinking about <laughs> sorry <laughs> Anywho, so I'm going to use that You're a Joke and Back to Cali colour and then for the design I'm also going to use the Plum Addict colour. Now, as usual with Madam Glam gel polishes, you if you're new to my channel I have actually used Madam Glam's products before and I really like them. They have this smell that's kind of like a sweet sort of fruity bubblegum type smell to them. It's really unusual. It's the only gel polish I've ever come across in so far that has a scent to it like that. Most gel polishes they don't smell of anything. But these have this really sweet smell. It's really, it's not an overpowering or strong smell, um, but it's 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 rather pleasant. I quite like it. <laughs> and as you can see, the coverage on my Madam Glam gel polishes is really, really good. A lot of the time, you can get away with one coat, but I always like to apply two coats so just to make sure it's fully opaque but yeah you can see the coverage on these it's fantastic they are very good gel polishes they apply very nicely I like the brushes there's no complaints about Madam Glam like I said I've used them before it's not my first time so yeah I am I do like Madam Glam's gel polishes for sure and obviously the lamp is um, it's very nice I was sent one of those mini lamps last time um, 
those like little travel lamps I'll have to put it I'll put a link in the cards to my other Madame Glam video so you'll see what I mean little fold away lamp which is really handy because it can just fit in your handbag when you're on you know going away for a weekend or whatever and you want to paint your nails whilst you're away that's a very handy um, with gel polishes it's it's best to have the lamp from the brand so that you're curing the gel polishes correctly because even though a sun UV lamp will cure any gel polish um, unless that is set to the specific wavelength that cures those specific gel polishes it might not be cured all the way through um, so that when you're removing it you will have uncured particles in the dust that will get on your skin and that can create allergies and all of that jazz so definitely consider if you're going to buy a brand of gel polishes consider getting the lamp from the brand or ask the brand what uh, frequency their gel polishes fully cure at so that you can find a lamp with that specific frequency it's um it can get a little bit scientific and technical but it it's not that difficult you can you can find these things out just do a little bit of research it's in your own best interest really and especially if you're you're you know you've got clients not just on yourself you you know take your clients safety seriously please because allergies are rife in the nail industry and it's from overexposure unfortunately product on the skin I try my best not to get gel polish on the skin but as you can see with shaky hands sometimes it's unavoidable make sure you get some acetone or some rubbing alcohol and a little brush get it off the skin before you cure it never cure it on the skin and get it off as soon as possible yeah and then when you finished as soon as possible go and wash your hands as well with soap and water just you know get any of that product off your skin any residue off the skin so now as you saw i've applied one layer and now i'm applying the second layer with all gel polishes you want to keep your layers thin not just because it if you apply thick layers it will bulk out the nail and you lose the shape but also you want to ensure that you're curing your gel polish thoroughly so a thin two thin layers is way better than doing one thick layer always remember that it's so nice look you, well you can see the way it applies it's a really nice consistency it doesn't run off into your cuticles and your side walls it, yeah it's I love the consistency of these um, Madden Glam Gel polishes for sure just carefully around that cuticle area See the way you can see the way I, I angled the brush to use it to my uh, best advantage. If you have trouble getting around the cuticle area with the brush from the bottle, just take a little detailer brush and do your cuticle area that way. I've got shaky hands, so even with a detailer brush, I can still make mistakes and get it on the skin. So I just take my time with the brush from the bottle, and yeah go as carefully as I can and if I do manage to get it on the skin like I said a bit of acetone or some rubbing alcohol and a little brush and get it off before you cure it I always cap on this second layer not on the first layer I don't know if you've noticed that I don't cap the nails on the first layer because I find if I cap both layers then I'm more likely to lose my shape so I tend to only cap on the second layer when I'm applying the gel polish I'm pulling one side of the brush up the neck of the bottle to remove the excess polish so that basically one side of the brush is um, loaded with gel polish then I will apply that to the center of the nail to get off most of the gel polish first before then going in towards the cuticle area that way I'm less likely to flood the cuticle with too much gel polish so that's that's my method of applying gel polish you see straight in the middle of the nail first to get off the excess and if there's too much on the brush still I will wipe it on the neck of the bottle don't be afraid to go back and forth to the bottle if you've got not enough or got too much gel polish on you know it's not a problem and then bounce up by that cuticle area 
turn the brush sideways and use the corner of the brush to get right up into those there corners definitely use the brush to your advantage and when you're going when you are going for your final strokes you want to make sure those strokes are from um, cuticle to free edge that way you don't get any lumpy bumps in the gel polish you'll see I go straight from the cuticle right the way down to the free edge so that it's nice and even by the time I finished cleaning up with my cleanup brush the gel polish will have had time to settle and even out and then it will be a nice smooth surface for me to then cure in place there we go cuticle around the cuticle with the cleanup brush and you see I, I dab the I dip it into the acetone I dab off the excess on the paper towel first then I clean up around this skin you'll see that I, that's the way I do it I don't want to flood my cuticle and sidewall area with with acetone or rubbing alcohol because that that's not good to do either that will also just make the gel polish run on the sides and you don't want that so you want a damp brush as opposed to a sop sopping wet brush for cleanup nearly finished and then i will give that a full cure for 60 seconds i really like these colors looking at my nails now and i'm like mm, i like this i like this a lot they feel quite short though because i'm used to wearing them uh, longer than this so they feel quite short to me but i know that that's really long for most people right on to the design so that's how they feel cure i'm going to do some sort of abstract roses because we all know karen can't draw <laughs> Um, so yeah, it, these are so easy to do, even me with my shaky hands can do them. So they're abstract roses so they don't have to be perfect. It, you just want to blob on in a general circle shape but not an, a perfectly even shape. You want it to be a little bit wobbly on the, on the outside, it just looks even better the less perfect it is if that makes sense. Get some of that in a general um, circular pattern <laughs> we'll say but not even you know kind of yeah so I'll flash cure that in place and then I'm going to use the um, plum addict and a dotting tool to just put some dots on this you know me I will do mostly easy designs when it comes to hand painting because I can't draw for toffee and also I have to think about how I'm going to do it with my left hand on the other hand so I did my left hand first to see how it would look and it came out okay so I figured yeah I can do that with my right hand if I can do it with my left I know I can do it with my right <laughs> and actually I preferred the way my left hand looked better <laughs> isn't that weird oh typical I preferred the left hand to the right hand no yes yes no oh gosh I'm confusing myself <laughs> what I mean is I preferred what I did with my left hand being my non-dominant hand to what I had done on the other hand using my dominant hand god that was so confusing I confused myself I probably confused you too <laughs> sorry about that welcome to my world <laughs> anyway so all I'm doing is using that plum addict, addict color um, I haven't flash cured the dots because I, I wasn't worried about disturbing them um, so yeah I'm just using a very uh, tiny brush to put it put some some abstract strokes in the center of those blobs so that they kind of look a bit like rose petals but it's it's abstract so it's not going to look exactly like a rose you know i'm going for the sort of vintage ditzy floral type effect if that makes sense so now i'll flash cure those in place happy with that definitely flash cure those and then i'll move on to the little finger so an abstract design I'm doing just a stroke of the pink it's it's abstract it doesn't have to be perfect so I'm just going for a relatively rectangular shape but not perfectly rectangle flash cure that in place 
this will all get a few full cure later so don't worry about that just get your design on first and flash cure it in place and then you can do a full cure afterwards dotting tool again and i'm yeah just using the dotting tool to make small uh, big dots and then the less pressure you use on the dotting tool the smaller your dots will become that's how i got them to get smaller and smaller and then back to that little uh, brush little fine liner brush detailer brush and I'm gonna do some some leaves basically so this is the stalk I'll get that the way I want it I kept making it wider and wider because my hands kept shaking and the line was wonky and it was really bugging me I didn't mean to make it that wide but I was like just go with it but if you're not happy with it because you haven't cured it you can wipe it off with just some rubbing alcohol and then redo it if you so wish so I would I just flash cured it in place I thought no I'll, it's not that bad I'll leave it and um, yeah so I flash cured those dots and that stalk in place and now I'm doing the actual leaves it's a very basic design but it's quite effective and I, I quite liked how this uh, this whole look came together I was racking my brains with what I was going to do and yeah this is what I came up with so I'm hoping you guys like it too you can probably do a better job of these leaves than I did like I said I prefer what I did on the other hand using my left hand I think my leaves came out better and my roses came out better on the other hand which is bizarre I suppose because I was using my left hand I was somewhat more careful about you know how I was drawing if that makes sense plus it's really awkward when you're drawing on your own nails it's easier if you're drawing it on someone else when you're trying to draw on your own nails it's, it's quite awkward so yeah I did what I could do and I was quite happy with it so there we go last leaf I'm sure there's an easier way to do these leaves than the way I'm doing it but it gets the job done there we go happy with that so I'll give that a full cure now and now it's time to top it off and keep it tough oh yes I'm not putting any crystals on this time I'm just keeping it simple just a simple easy design I did say uh, last year that I would do some more uh, simple designs and this is one of them so I'm going to top coat using the Madame Glam top coat this top coat has a tacky layer so do remember to let it cool down for a minute or two before you go in with your cuticle oil so that you don't lose the shine Bef well let it cool down for a minute before you remove the tacky layer and apply your cuticle oil that's the way i should have said it uh, that way you it stays shiny because um sometimes if you apply cuticle oil or remove the tacky layer whilst the nails are still warm from being out of the lamp immediately you can dull the shine so let them cool down a little bit just for a minute or two it doesn't take long and uh, then remove the tacky layer and apply your t uh, cuticle oil and it, the shine will be amazing I do like the Madame Glam top coat it's it's thick but not too thick so it doesn't run all into your cuticles and everywhere it stays where you put it which I really like and yeah it's nice to apply it wears really well it stays shiny it's hard wearing yeah I don't have any complaints about the performance of Madame Glam gel polishes they've performed well for me in the past and I would assume they would still continue to perform well um, obviously if I had any issues I will let you know but I only did my nails um, the day was it yesterday no day before yesterday so yeah they're still kind of fresh so once i've uh, worn them and if if there are any issues i will update you but i doubt there will be madame glam wears well it's, it's a good um quality brand so yeah finally top coat that 
thumb and then I will cure that for 60 seconds and then I'll show you when I remove my tacky layer and apply the cuticle oil. Always bump up towards the cuticle but do not touch it. You don't want any of the gel polish on your skin and if it gets on your skin remember just use a little brush and some acetone or some rubbing alcohol get it off the skin first i always run the brush over the end of the nails before i put them in the lamp just to make sure none of the top coat has pulled at the sides if it pulls at the tip and the sides you can lose the shape so that's why i run the brush over the nails before i cure it so i let the nails cool down a little bit and i'm removing the tacky layer i always like to use it uh, remove the tacky layer twice so using um, one wipe with some rubbing alcohol and stuff and then remove the tacky layer and do, do, use a fresh wipe and some more rubbing alcohol and remove it again that's just the way I like, prefer to do it I prefer to do it twice and then you can apply your cuticle oil which is what I'm doing and like I said this cuticle oil is uh, fragrance free so there's nothing to talk about there but it, it sinks into the skin really well as you saw it's it's mostly just you know jojoba oil which is excellent for your nails so yes that is all i have for this time um so i hope you've enjoyed this video thank you ever so much for coming to my channel watching this video spending some of your most precious time with me i appreciate you thank you ever so much if you've enjoyed this video or you've liked it in any way shape or form please go ahead and click that like button i'd appreciate it ever so much and if you feel like it you can leave me a comment also you can subscribe it's free join the frosty fam i'd love to have you so that's all i've got for this time peeps you take care now and i'll speak to you all again very soon bye for now